baby. What a pot this is. This could be it, ladies and gentlemen. What? Oh, what a match. What a bounce. Devastation. I've never seen anything like that. How about this dramatic hand for the next 50 years? Welcome to Foxwoods Resort Casino, where the name of the game is big, and the biggest game in town is the World Poker Tour. The World Poker Tour is a series of international poker tournaments featuring the biggest games, the greatest players, and the largest payouts on the planet. Tonight in New England, new records are being set as the World Poker Tour gives out its largest payout at the world's biggest casino. 313 players laid down $10,000 each to create the largest WPT prize pool so far. $3.1 million. Yes! Hundreds of pros and amateurs bet and bluffed their way for three straight days in the hopes of making it to the final table. I love this game. But in poker, only the strongest and luckiest survive. Now, only six remain to fight over the title, the $1 million first place prize, and the coveted $25,000 entry into the WPT Championship worth millions more. Six players, $3.1 million. It's history in the making when one of these six players walks away a millionaire here on the World Poker Tour. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the award-winning World Poker Tour. We are at Foxwoods Resort Casino in the beautiful Connecticut countryside for the World Poker Finals. I'm Mike Sexton. And I'm Vince Van Patten. And Mike, my friend, we have something very special going on here in the woods at Foxwoods. It's really exciting, Vince. This is the world's largest casino, and this is the largest prize pool in the history of the World Poker Tour. A staggering $3.1 million. We're setting all the records here tonight, Vince. No, it, it is truly amazing. We started out with 313 players. We are down to six. So, Mike, let's go to the felt. Let's meet the finalists. Let's do it. All right. Starting out as our low chip stack today will be Brian Havison. Brian currently lives in Pennsylvania. He's 39 years old, married with three kids. Very successful businessman. He's starting out today with 135,000 in chips. He'll be in seat three. And now in seat number five, Santil Kumar. Originally from India, now living in California. He's 35 years old. Centile has 245,000 worth of chips. And Vince, starting out in fourth place today is Chris Ackerman. Now, Chris is 22 years old. He's a college student. He's starting out today with $333,000 worth of chips. He'll be in seat four. Mohammed Ibrahim, seat number two. He's originally from Egypt. Now he's living in Long Beach, California, a professional poker player. He's got 376,000 worth of chips. Starting out in second chip position today, it's Phil Helmuth. He is a legendary No Limit Hold'em tournament player. He's starting out with $840,000 worth of chips. He will be in seat six. Well, he's always fun to watch. Now in seat number one, the chip leader, Hoyt Corkins. They call him the cowboy. Grew up in Alabama. He is a professional poker player. He's 43 years old, and he's got $1.2 million worth of chips. So, six world-class players. Who is going to take the title? The antes are going to be $1,500 each. The blind, six and 12000 Mike. Now, Brian is going to start with the dealer button. It's the white hockey puck in front of him. He represents the dealer. So, the action right now is going to be on Phil Helmuth. Let's take a look at what he has. He's got 9-3 offsuit. He's not going to play. Now here comes Hoyt Corkins, our chip leader, raising right off the bat with a queen Very nine, comes in for 36,000. Very aggressive. Mohammed looks at a queen five. Now tossing it. Brian on the button with ace high here. He folds. The kid has a jack four. Going out. Around to Centil, who's got a big hand. He's got ace jack, Mike. Yes, he does. Now, his concern here is that the guy who raised it is the chip leader, meaning if he plays a pot against him and loses it, he could be out of here, Vince. Well, the interesting thing is, what are you going to do? You can't wait all day. This is a pretty big hand. Even though it's the first hand, you've got to think he's going to well, be aggressive here. Here's the beauty of the WPT cams, Vince. We can see he has the best hand. You know, does he want to clash with the chip leader early? No, he doesn't, I Vince. I can't he believe that. He does fold the first hand, and that's going to give it to the cowboy Hoyt Corkins, chip leader. Going to take the first pot. 
Now, as always, the game on the World Poker Tour is No Limit Texas Hold'em. And Mike, why don't you give us that famous line? Vince, it's the <laughs> Cadillac of poker. It takes a minute to learn and a lifetime to master. Oh, yeah. To start, each player is dealt two cards face down. Then five community cards are placed face up on the table. Each player combines his two down cards with the community cards to make his best five-card poker hand. And betting is what this game is really all about. Now you get your first two cards, you make a bet. Then the dealer puts the first three community cards on the table. Now in poker, this is called the flop. You bet again. Then the dealer puts the fourth community card or the turn card on the table. Another round of betting follows. Then the last card, called the river card, is turned up on the table. There's a final round of betting. You turn up your cards, you see who wins. Here we go, back to the action. And right now it's going to be on Hoyt to act. He looks at a 7-5. Look at this, Vince. He just doesn't want to throw this hand away here. Well, he does throw it away, but you can see he was itching to play it. Muhammad Abraham has a suited connector, 9-8 of clubs. He's going to call it. Yeah, that's a nice playable hand. Most guys like to play that. Brian's going to fold. And now it's on the kid, Chris, who has a pair of sixes. Oh. Look at this. He's just going to call. He's called on the button. Centille folds a three deuce. And Phil wraps the table. We're going to see a flop. Phil has a nice hand. 9 7 spade. Wants to see a flop. Here we go. Three way action. Oh, monster flop is king, king, six. Check, check. Well, it went check, check. The kid has flopped a full boat, and he's going to check it. M and M music going off in his head. He's going to play it slow. Next card is another oh. king. Check. Now the third king comes on the board here. Now this is not going to be a card that's going to make Chris very happy. Oh, it has just foiled his slow play. Phil checks. Well, in the meantime, Mohammed is now bet here. To make a move at this pot. Yes, he has with absolutely nothing. He's bet 20,000. And the kid still has the best hand with kings full of sixes. Well, we know that, but he just winced right then. <laughs> well, that's because if someone has a pair of sevens or a pair of eights, he is now beat. You talk about a quick backfire. Chris playing it slow. And Chris Ackerman, only 22 years old. I mean, I got stale beer in my fridge older than this guy. He's got a decision here. Oh. He's going to call it. Yes, he is. Yeah. Helmuth, of course, going out. Two-way action. Last card coming up. And the last card is a deuce. It's actually a good hand for Chris, because now that means his opponent has to have a bigger pair. But it goes check, check. I'm surprised how quickly the kid plays. He's going to take this pot with sixes full. But, you know, he's just smiling because he knows, you know, there was such great possibilities there. He got Muhammad to bet a little bit, but he's just happy at this point to take that pot. Vince, that's a 22-year-old college student playing for over a million dollars here today. I mean, this kid is off to a great poker career here, and he hasn't even got out of college. I feel like this is just the start for me. I feel like there's no limit to how far I can go. You know, you're playing against champions and uh, people who have so much respect. Kind of like shows me that I got what it takes. I'll tell you something, he's got a lot of fans back there too. A lot of his college friends have shown up here at Foxwoods to root him on. This is exciting. They sure have, Vince. They've all cut school here to come watch him play here today. <laughs> and we're going to have quite a party tonight at the frat house, I can tell you that. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more poker action on the World Poker Tour.
Welcome back to World Poker Tour action at the giant Foxwoods Resort Casino. It is 320,000 square feet of poker madness. I'm Vince Van Patten. And I'm Mike Sexton. Let's check and see where things stand. Okay. And right now, our current chip leader is Hoyt Corkins. He started the day with the chip lead. He's built his chip stack up a little. He's still our chip leader. Phil Helmuth is still in second chip position. And the action's going to be on Mohammed. So the 9 4 and throws it away. Now it's up to Brian. He goes out with Queen Ford. Now Chris quickly folds a 6 5. And Centil quickly mucks a 9 deuce off suit. That goes to Phil Helmuth, who's picked up a big hand ace 10 of clubs. Notice he's just limping in here, Vince. Very surprising by the normally aggressive Phil Helmuth to limp in with ace 10 suited. And Hoyt's going to be around with a 9 3. Let's see a flop. The flop is ace nine six. And look at this. Phil's going into a trap play. He's yeah. checking his aces. And and Hoyt checks behind him with a pair of nines. That's interesting. Very intelligently, too, I might add. Fourth street of seven comes up. That makes it possible straight out there. Phil's gonna bet at it this time. He bets sixteen thousand. Well, I can tell you what Hoyt's thinking now. Does this guy really have an ace? Wouldn't he have raised me before the flop if he had an ace in his hand? Hoyt doesn't think he has an ace. He's calling him. Well, that is the strength of mixing up your game. Well, last card coming up. Last card is a deuce. Last card off is a deuce. Now, that's no apparent help to either player. And Phil Helmuth's going to bet this, of course. He is. He bets 50000 Well, Hoyt, again, thinking that wouldn't Phil raise me if he had an ace? I don't think you can put him on an ace here, Vince. And that's just because you show you the strength of mixing up your game. Great players like Phil, you don't always do the same thing. Don't do the obvious. Don't just raise with ace, ten of clubs. And look, he's going to get a call by it. A nice slow play before the flop by Phil Helmuth is going to win him a nice little pot here. The master at work, Phil Helmuth, jumping out. And he's got a good fan base out there, too. Yes, he does. He takes a little chink out of the armor of our chip leader. Oh, Phil Helmuth is looking good. This is a guy that won his first major tournament at age 24. Phil Helmuth still around and doing wonderfully. The action's going to be on Centil. Centil looks at a queen three. He's not going to play. Big Phil has a 64 diamonds. He's also not going to call. Around to Hoyt. He's got a jack four offsuit and folds. Mohammed quickly folds. Uh, Brian Havison's got a 52-card pickup. I'm all in. And look at this. He's going all, all in. All in. He's, he's on the short stack. He's got about 115,000. Now, normally, as a player, if you were in the big blind, you'd be wondering, why is this guy betting so much? It'd be a little fishy, you know? Now, look. He's got Chris. Chris has got a king six. But he's well, going to make him lay it down. Oh, Whoa, Vince. Look at this. He's showing it. Oh, he's going to rub it in. Beautiful. Enjoy it. <laughs> Look at his wife and, and his mom over there. They're having a heart attack. Oh, seeing this guy you. bet with a five-deuce off suit, 115000 <laughs> Well, folks, do not do this at home. You're watching professionals at work. And look at, oh, that is great. That's a New England mom right there. <laughs> Brian Havison, a successful businessman, father of three. Way to go. Well, Vince, a bold play by Brian right there to win that pot. Back to the action. It's going to be on Centile. He looks at a king three. He's not going to play. Right, here comes Phil Helmuth with the king ten suited. King ten of diamonds. Pretty strong He's hand. He's going to play. He just calls. He just calls. What's that? Hoyt folds. And look at this. Mohammed also calls. King jack of clubs on the button. A nice hand. And he calls. So far, except for Brian, these guys are playing a little cautiously. Now, Brian has ace-10 off suit. Now, what he's thinking about here is he saw Phil limp in. He saw Mohammed limp in. What he's thinking is if they had ace-king, ace-queen, ace-jack, wouldn't they have raised it? If they had a pair, wouldn't they have raised it? He believes he has the best hand, I think, here, Vince. There's always that chance that a Phil Helmuth, we saw him with ace-10 play it slow earlier. So he does mix up his play, but you're right, Brian might be thinking that at this moment. 